Nick's first challenge is a serious one, to find a church to marry him. It's important for the, both of us to get married in the Catholic Church. I ideally would like to get married in Leah St Mary's as an altar boy there for eight, eight years, I think. But Nick hasn't been a regular at church since he was a kid. And he's never even met the new priest. When were you hoping to get married? Um, three weeks today. What? I, I know it's such a short time scale. I'm sorry for so the what, pressure. What day were you looking at? Um, I'm not too sure. It's, it's just what you've got available, really, that I'll have to obviously work with. We could do it on Saturday, the 5th of April. Um, and if you can come and see me tomorrow, we'll get the, get the process going. All right, that's great. OK. All right, thank you very much, Father, right, for nice, your time. Nice Cheers. You anyway. OK, bye-bye. Right. With the church booked, Nick's off to a flying start. <laughs> We're just going to go and visit the priest, Father Simon. He's just going to give us some advice with regards to arranging this wedding. Is that it? Do we have lines and that to say? Do no, it's just, so it's just a case yeah. of this is what's going to happen yeah. and then we get on with it. Yeah. And that's it. OK. But is the priest singing from the same hymn book as the boys? Hey, Father, good evening. Hello. You all right? You OK? Not so bad, thank uh, you. Are the guys OK coming in as oh, well? Please meet you, Father. Yeah, that's fine, but I, I need to have a word of uh, off camera, actually. Right, OK. All right. No problem. I'm going to do that. Oh, wait, yeah. OK. All right. This is it. Goodness. I was going to invite us in for a brew. Maybe I'll still out here in the cold. I don't know. I don't know. I was expecting sort of tea and cakes. Not to see. Because he sort of took, like, one look at us. Because I thought we were going to shake hands and, you know, have a... Like a formal meeting. It was pretty quick, wasn't he? Pretty quick. He won't be asking about the stag do, I don't think. Really. Pretty cold evening. Bye, right, Father. Yeah, we'll do. All right, thanks again. Okay. Cheers. Bye bye. Thanks. Um, just come across a bit of a stumbling block then, oh. um, uh, because it's it's so sort of like he's had to speak to the bishop on the matter because um, it, it's been seen to um, devaluise um, oh. the Catholic Church. Got to go back home and quickly ring the bishop up and call him your worship. Is that correct? That I don't know. So you're just making it up. You know, so now you address them, address them, the bishop. Let's go and find out. So he's down to the bishop? Yeah. Right, let's do it. Down to the big man himself. <laughs> but Nick's bumpy ride with the bishop is just beginning. If the result's bad, if it's from the bishop and the bishop sort of ruling with an iron fist and sort of, you know, quiet in the church so we can't do it, then we're, we're, in, we're not in a good position. A bit concerning, really. We're both devout Catholics, and obviously the the, the the objective of having these people in was just to help us financially with the money, because the wedding costs a lot of money nowadays. It looks like it, the, the, the sort of rug's been pulled from under his feet. It'd be a bit of a bombshell if that one fell through. I think he's beginning to feel the pressure. Uh, the bishop has said that he never said yes and he never said no. I need the blessing from, you know, you know I think me and Layla really do need the blessing from God, uh, rather than, than just... Um, <laughs> You know, just, than just having a civil service. There's still no answer from the bishop, but best man Steve's got a plan to tackle the clergy. Pull up on what you're going to say to the bishop, just so we don't make a mess of it. I mean, we don't want to don't put it in a way where we're putting him under pressure, but we've already arranged. Yeah, but I think we need to apply some slight pressure. The timescale we have is, you know, um, we need to have this sorted. Otherwise, I mean, otherwise it's looking like it can't go ahead. So vital importance to yourself and family. Speak to Bishop O'Donoghue, please. Hello, you okay? Oh, I'm going to break him. The battery's just gone. Oh, oh that's not a good start, is it? That's not a good start. 
Lara shows what she thinks of the wedding plan so far. Apologise for the uh, just new battery. She was not annoyed. Uh, hello, Bishop. The battery on my mobile phone went, unfortunately, so I'm sorry about that. Unfortunately for Nick, the bishop passes the book back to the priest. Okay, thanks again. Bye bye. Yes, I. I've got to ring back Father Simon. He's top dog. I don't understand why he just doesn't say, look, you know, you're a priest, it's your job, I'm happy with it, get on with it. Nick has just over two weeks to pull off this wedding, but he doesn't have a church, reception venue, or wedding dress. He doesn't even have anyone to marry him. The layback groom realises he needs a plan B and dashes off to book a standby registrar. Come on, God, the bishop might not love me, but you do. Change his lights. Nicky loves you, baby. Legally, a notice of civil marriage has to be on display to the public 16 days before the wedding. Paul sends off at the last minute, um, and I'm just thinking with his schedule, it's quite tight, and he's going to have to be organised. Four minutes to get to the registrar. I thought it'd be very plain sailing, easy going, and uh, me being as relaxed as ever, but I've never been so much under pressure in my life. My brain's a ticking time bomb. Uh, <laughs> I'm not used to things not going my way, so it's quite difficult when things like this do happen. He finally makes it to the registry office with seconds to spare. We've got a registrar there, so a wedding is definitely going to happen one way or the other, which is very, very exciting. Nick's not giving up on God just yet. Uh, hello, good evening. I was wondering if I could speak to Father Simon, please. Uh, hey, Father Simon, it's uh, Nicholas Miller. Hello, you okay? I was just wondering if uh, you and the bishop had come to uh, any decisions with regards to me getting married in St Mary's. Great father, thanks again, cheers. All right, bye bye. Yay! Excellent, so we're on for the uh, yeah. for the church wedding. We're on. Sweet as a nut.